Hello, 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 everyone. Um, this is a continuation of our ABC of Forex trading. Um, I, I'd call it a course, really, because if you follow it through, you'll know much more about trading in general than you probably did before. So it's always a good thing, right? Um, and today, I want you to concentrate on candles. Because actually, effectively, candles can predict a lot of things to happen in future and really uh, those tools should be your first choice first go to so what can predict the price right the everlasting question that every trader probably should be asking themselves and candles are definitely a starting point they are probably one third of the whole prediction process but let's go into detail let's have a look at some candles and I'll try and explain as much as I can about the main ones um, let's say very important ones you only need to know three or four really important what they called is candle formations so let's go straight into it in front of it is this euro US dollar four hourly chart just to remind you that each of these candles is four hours long that's why we call it four hour chart and let's find those important candles so when where do we start looking first choice would be big ones obvious right but not everybody takes it seriously now let's let's find the big ones let's start from here the very beginning of this chart. Now, is that not a big one, this first candle here? And the answer is, of course it is. So, that's definitely worth buying. It's a buying signal, especially because this candle is located at the bottom of our price. All of this price, and it's right at the bottom of it. So, another good reason. Big candle, green candle, no wick at the top. Now, let me explain more about wicks. Wicks are these little tails that here, here, and here you can see the tails. And the bodies are the actual colored part of the candle. Now, this one has a very strong body right here and a tail at the bottom. That tells us a whole story. The bottom bit was rejected price tried to go down there but it couldn't and guess where it closed it closed right at the top almost no wick yeah you can see a bit of wick there but I wouldn't call it a wick it doesn't count right so that's a big buying candle for you right there let's look for more signals just be logical about it. Don't don't have to have a math and science course under your shoulder. Do you know what I mean? It's just normal common sense approach. Look for big ones. Now this was a big one, but why would I be suspicious of buying this? To explain to you is this wick. The wick is probably as important part of any candle as is its body the filled bit, the colored bit. Uh, wick tells you rejection. One word about wicks means rejection. So because it got rejected from up there, I'll be, cu I'll be cautious of buying this. Now, on the other hand, we have this massive candle, red one, which tells you not only because of the size of it, but also the positioning of it. Where is it? it? It came right after two rejections and it was a strong signal to sell. I hope you're following me so far. It's just simple logic and really you probably won't understand all of it unless you really rewind this video and watch it a few times. You know, it's free. What do you lose? You just gain knowledge, right? So, let me continue. Let's find any other significant ones. Now, this one would have been a buy signal. Definitely. Because, look, 
price went down, got rejected, got rejected, got rejected many times, and then all of a sudden it painted this magnificent green candle, right? But the reason of not taking this signal is very simple. We are looking to buy, let's remind you, ABC of trading. We are looking to buy low here or there where the first candle was. That's a good price to buy from. You never buy just because of a candle. You buy because of where the price is. And let's start again going back to ABC, right? You have to have defined these territories. Where am I willing to buy and where am I willing to sell? This here is a mid-range. Low range here, where we want to buy. High range here, where we want to sell. So only those candles that are in appropriate zones can mean a good signal for us. So let me explain further. Up here, big massive red candle, slight rejection at the bottom, but that rejection is nothing in comparison to the size of the body. And where is it positioned? It's right at the top of the price. The ideal position to sell. And those together means for us a sell signal. Right there. As soon as that was painted, I was selling. Like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> right? Because the price is too high. And you don't want to sell low, right? If we sold here, you are selling nothing. If you sold here, you might be selling something because it's not down here at the bottom. But if you sold here, you are at the very top, right? So it makes much more sense. Now, of course, you don't just sell here because it's so high. You're waiting for this big or slightly less big but a confirmation solid red candle and then you sell. Now have we seen any other ones here? Now this one's an interesting candle because all of this body actually took out most of the previous red candle and we also have this line here of price tried and tried and tried to go lower but it obviously couldn't. See these tails here? The wicks we talked about? sign of rejection just to remind you it got rejected and all of a sudden painted this green candle here it's a signal to buy but why are we not buying this is because the price overall is too high here we are looking more for selling opportunities not buying opportunities um, this is a good example of selling right here this red candle here is called engulfing candle. Why? Because all of its body, never mind the wick, just the body, engulfs the previous body. Meaning, in human words, takes it out completely. Doesn't leave it a chance, right? And where are we? We are in a cell zone. We are up here. We're not down here where we're only looking to buy. No, we're here, exactly where we're looking to sell from. Because look to your left, what happened before? Price went up there, got massively rejected, and we should have sold it. And we would have been okay doing that. But then it tried again and got taken out completely by this red candle. That's a sell candle. Why? Because the candle is telling us the story that the price is going down but more importantly, this candle, this combination of candles, is placed in our cell zone. So, let's remind you again, zones are very important. You don't want to be selling low, like down here. And you definitely don't want to be buying here, which is already high. Price needs to be low for you to buy, and price needs to be high to sell from. So what have we learned today? Significant candles like this one is a very good example in the right zones are your big friend. Okay everyone hope you learned something new today. 
and ciao for now until the next one bye bye